my birthday. Oh god, this what? is weird. We're prepping for Turks in this vlog. I hope this vlog comes together because it has been four months since I picked up a camera and vlogged anything, so a rusty is an understatement. But huh, why am I nervous? Like this is so we have less than 24 hours to get everything together and still prep for this Turks trip for my birthday. Um, oh, you're good. It's whatever. It's gonna be in the background now. Now that I think of it. Oh. Um. Yeah. So as you can see, I can't even hold the camera right anymore. My hair is already done. I got my hair braided. I still need to do my nails, which thankfully I already attached them. I do my nails at home. But I did get my toes done. I need to do my nails, my lashes, my eyebrows, and wax. So we got a lot to do. And I still want to take pictures today so I can post them. So I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to try. Finish my nails. This is what they look like. I just washed my hands. So my hands look hella dry. Camera died. And the battery recharger is not charging my batteries. So, off to a ro rocky start, so I had to use my, my phone to record, but i um, about to wax my armpits. I've been holding out so that I can wax them for this trip. It's a lot, so they're probably going to be blurred out. But I make my sugar wax at home. I just heated it up. And then I just cut up like an old t-shirt, and I'm using that as... I'm using that as the wax thing. I have I have actual like strips, but I don't know. I feel like the the t-shirts work really good. I haven't done this in a while, so I'm scared. Oh, yep. That's it right there. It is grabbing every hair that it needs to grab. I'm thinking about doing a bikini wax too. I like making my sugar wax at home because one, it's all natural, but it also just works good. Like, obsessed, obsessed. Okay. Ooh, that one hurt. Mm. The wax is done. I tried, I attempted to do like a little bikini wax. That um, went all right, but I just decided to shave because I don't have time <laughs> to sit here fighting with that right now. But I'm going to remove my makeup. Whoa, what is that? Because I need to do my lashes and my eyebrows. So I'm going to be doing at-home lashes. And then I am going to be um, dyeing my eyebrows. As you know from like my previous video, last year was really tough. Past few months have been really tough. And then it just went from tough to worse after losing my grandmother in october so i did at my grandmother's birthday is actually a day after mine so her birthday would have been tomorrow so you know i always like to get away i always like to travel i'm a pisces so we love to escape the last minute deal my mom booked us a family trip to celebrate my birthday and we're to turks and keiko so I'm so, so grateful. I'm so happy to be leaving, taking my mind off of everything. And then we're going to Turks too. So it's just like, wow, I'm just really excited. And I'm so grateful for my mom for doing this. Where would I be without her? Who knows? <laughs> and I can't wait. I, my stress is at like a 10 right now though, because there's so much to do. And like the time is running low, honey. And I still didn't pack and it's like seven o'clock at night. So it's going to be a long night, but we're gonna get it done but yeah that's pretty much the background on the trip i haven't posted my birthday up that much i haven't even posted on social media at all recently so thankful for all the birthday wishes all the birthday texts and everything i am i don't know sensitive about my birthday since i got older it wasn't until recently like the past few years that i actually decided to care about my birthday when i seen people who put in less effort i kind of reflected that in myself the past few years i decided to get rid of that mindset and no matter who's there i'm gonna do that to my for myself i don't care if i have to do something to celebrate myself i'm gonna show myself self-love and show god 
my gratitude for another year just want to share that just for anyone who struggles with birthdays if like they don't have a lot of people who support them or who's in their life to celebrate them still take that time to celebrate yourself because you are your own best friend at the end of the day <laughs> you treat yourself like you're special even if nobody else does Ooh, okay i'm chatting right now but i have this love-hate relationship with social media and birthdays i always felt like it was like a popularity contest like to see who posted up the most stories about you that you can reshare and like it was a symbol how much people cared about them based off of how many posts they got on their story and past few years i kind of tried to combat that by not posting at all i still fall victim to that like whenever someone let's say someone posts me for my birthday and they don't tag me in the story so i can't repost it on my story to show other people that they posted me on their story i hate that it's come to this like <laughs> like what really matters is real life when i really thought about it it's all an ego thing we always feel the need to like show how good we're actually doing to other people and you know i'm really working on myself to get away from that yeah i'm just here to say like we gotta do better all right i've been talking for too long and we're already late so let's do what should i do first to my eyebrows i'm gonna do my eyebrows first because yeah all right this is what we're looking like it looks crazy when you first put it on and i really rushed this because <laughs> I didn't put no Vaseline. I think you're supposed to put like Vaseline on your skin. So, let me move my hand from the microphone. Let's do that. But, um, yeah, I gotta wait like five, 10 minutes, I think. And then I'm gonna wipe it off and pray that it comes out how I want it to. I got dark brown too, by the way. Um, but I think when this runs out, I'm gonna get black just because last time I did it, the dark brown was cool. But I feel like it wasn't dark enough for it to really look like I got henna brows, so yeah. So this is the dark brown, but oh my god, it looks so crazy. Mm. All right, moment of truth. Now I got my tripod, so I may have left it on too long, but uh oh, okay. Could have did the 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 edge better, but. But I think that looks pretty good. Like, that's with nothing on and looks like I colored in my eyebrows. All right, so before lashes, I forgot I need to, what they like to call derma blade, whatever now. But I need to do that. I do not have aloe vera, so I'm just using some like snail, that snail stuff. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> to do it. One time I did this and cut my freaking face. I had like freaking scratches over my face. Every time I put like something on my face, it burned. I, th I think I threw out those razors because I haven't seen them since. Just straight my face. I think it came out good. I don't see any of those little hairs on my face. So that's good. Well, not good, but that's what I wanted. Now I'm going to do my lashes to see what I use. Got all this stuff from Amazon. Um, It's on my Amazon storefront. But, you know, honestly... These have been working, but they're not my favorite lashes, but they're doing what they need to do. I'm gonna finish it and then I'm gonna get better ones. I feel like these could be better, but this stuff, the lash bond, it makes doing my lashes so easy. Before I was struggling, but with dipping the lashes in the glue, but this makes it so easy. I just put this on like mascara. I try not to blink because sometimes it, your lashes be sticking together when you blink. It works good. I just don't like how once the lashes start to get old, it starts to like clamp up or whatever. I don't know. But it works for now. Normally it's really easy, but trying to film it, I'm conscious of how I look right now. This is impossible to do on camera, so I'm going to stop filming and just show y'all when I'm done. I have to be really close to the mirror for me to know to be able to do it, but this is what the first eye is looking like. Really, really easy. I use 10 in the corner, size 10 in the corner, two 12s, and then two 14s on the end. So let me finish this eye. I'm gonna show y'all. All right, I just finished. As soon as I was like, oh, this is easy, I started to have a hard time, but it really is easy. It took me less than 10 minutes to do my lashes. I don't know if you could tell that there's less lashes on this eye. I hope not. And then the other side of this thing is 
it says lash seal honestly i don't even know what this is for like i don't even know how to use it and every time i do use it i feel like it leaves a white residue on my lashes i think i'm gonna look it up but i think i might skip out on using it for right now just because i don't know pack it with me just in case some lashes fall off ow what was that accent everything is done beauty wise i think i still gotta shave in the shower and stuff but i'm gonna do that later and now i can finally focus on packing and i think it's like eight o'clock so i cannot tell you the last time i drank water right now i have a list of like things that i want to bring um just to make sure i don't forget anything so i can pack that stuff up my room is overwhelming right now there's stuff everywhere and i don't know where to start i can't Okay, I'm watching Love is Blonde. It's 11.40 p.m. I'm leaving at 5. The outfits are planned out. Everything is here. It just needs to go in the suitcase. So, <sighs> that's pretty much it. But this is what it's looking like. I shouldn't have clothes on the floor, but it is what it is. So, on the bed is going out outfits, dinner outfits. Here is all the bathing suits. So a bathing suit a day. Down here is shoes. I need to fold those and put it away. But down here is shoes. And these are like, that's the plain outfit. And these are like day outfits. That's all the clothes and shoes and stuff. I just need to do accessories, toiletries, and then I'm done. This is my suitcase. So things is looking real slim. But <laughs> I think I can fit my stuff in here. We don't. I really don't know. I'm bringing six pair of shoes and I feel like that's too much. I think that works, I don't know. I just added another pair of shoes so but i need black shoes white shoes two pairs of heels sandals and then the flip-flops honestly i might be able to get rid of the white shoes i don't know i love these ziploc bags this one i think has a hole in it unfortunately because air is starting to come back into it this is all my going out clothes this is all my day clothes night clothes i just need to pack up my bikinis next I got a smaller bag for my bikinis. This is all like my beach outfits and stuff. And then I just gotta do toiletries and then I'm done. Oh my god, hallelujah. <laughs> okay, I'm filming with my front camera, but it's 2 46 a.m. I still need a shower, so finally finished packing. And that took longer than I thought, but I kind of knew I was pulling an all-nighter tonight. But let me show you what I did. Also, I had to take a break because my phone had died. I still got to close this. Don't know how that's going to happen. I'm bringing this bag, this bag, and my bonnet. And then I'm bringing this personal bag. I have a tote bag, my book, this little toiletry bag. It has like vitamins, wipes, little things like that. Pastine, nail glue, because... You never know if one of these nails might pop off. Then I have my chargers in here. The front, I have my wallet and my passport is missing. My passport will go in there. I'm gonna find it. In here, the bag is dirty too. I gotta wash this. In here, I have my glasses and then just like gum, portable charger, headphones, everything's in there. In here, this is all my makeup. Uh, this is all my body care. My grandmother got me like these things here when she came earlier skincare stuff here and then my hair stuff is in here thank god my hair is braided so all i really need to bring is edge control and an edge brush and i have like mousse and that's it and then this is my bag my mom got me this for my birthday i was gonna do a birthday haul but i'm tired <laughs> the only thing left really is 
camera stuff so i obviously want to vlog when i'm out there the problem is my camera canon camera broke and now my sony zv1 the thing that i use to recharge it will not charge my batteries like no matter what wire i use it just won't work so i think this is broke too so that's why i'm vlogging on my phone right now i really am upset about that i should have checked this earlier obviously but so i'm hoping that i can maybe find one at the airport but i'm not sure i'm gonna look it up online and then also i wanted to bring my polaroid camera because i would love to get polaroids of us in turks like but i don't have any film like these are things that could have been avoided if i planned better but you know <laughs> i'm hoping that the airport also has film but i have this light box which can use for night pictures i have this tripod to hold up my phone on like a window or something or a mirror and then of course this tripod that i'll be bringing we did it basically an all-nighter because i we need to leave at five but i'm gonna take a quick shower shave and then my brother asked me to do his hair and i'm just like i'm tired i don't know how this is gonna happen but we'll see so i'm finally done just got out the shower i'm not even sure if i'm gonna be able to get to sleep we leave at 5 5 30 and it's going on 4 a.m so i'm shocked that i'm even up because after college i i thought my body was physically not able to pull all-nighters anymore but here we are <laughs> i put on what i'm gonna wear to the airport like half of my outfit there's no point in like putting on night clothes so <sighs> this was a learning experience i still did not attempt to close my suitcase everything else is packed it's sitting right here that's that on that so i am signing off and i'll catch you in my vlog hopefully that goes better than this video <laughs> And we will be in Turks. Hey. All right, bye. <laughs>